drum. I guess it's safe to say I'm back on my buck shit. You did. Any people know I got it back. You know these streets saved me. I done always made the money, bitch. The money never made. I done still wanna ride in my Mercedes. Selling dope like the 80s. The trap going crazy. All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, how y'all doing today, man? It's your boy Cortez. You know, stand-up comedian, all around entertainer. What's good, real talk? So, how long have you been entertaining, folks? That's what I've been doing about. comedy since I was 14 years old. So, if my math is correct, I want to say that's a lot of years. <laughs> now, that's seven years. That's seven years. What made you pursue that route of business? Well, I was always a class clown, so I think being able to make people laugh with me instead of at me is an amazing outlet. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, you know, just turning the negatives into positives. So I've seen you in malls and stores like pouring liquid. Like, what's your like? What would you not do? Like, I could never do that. I wouldn't do glitter. <laughs> in my house, at least, I'd probably do it in yours. Oh, but okay. Glitter. It's all strong. One. So glimmer's your limit. Glitter is like, how do you clean it? How you sweep it up? <laughs> Litter. Are you from Atlanta? I'm not. You know the website say Area 51. That's Google is wrong. I'm not from Corinth, Mississippi. I'm originally from the south side of Chicago, Illinois. Okay, and how'd you end up in Atlanta? Uh, opportunity. My mom made an executive decision to get us out of the hood and just put us in a better, you know, uh, position to win. So. Okay. At what point did you realize? Okay, this is where I really want to pursue. These questions are going so fast. It's like. Do, 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 do. Oh no, man. Um. When I got on stage at, I want to say, 15 years old, it was something that, it just made me feel really good to be able to provide laughter. And um, I think that was a, a, a dope outlet. And then uh, when I turned like 17, 18 years old, and I started feeling like people like respected what, I, what it was that I was bringing to the table, I was able to say, yeah, I want to do this. Got you, got you. And there was never any like, oh, that didn't work, or, you know what I'm What moment you feel like, okay, that, that joke didn't work, or this idea wasn't? When you get that. booed, or when it's crickets, that's how you know, like. You've never been booed. I've been booed. Actually, I've been booed twice. I've been booed at uh, the West End Mall where I did a, school, a, a show for kids, mm -hmm. and then I've been booed uh, by my mama. You know, she's my <laughs> biggest critic. So, but I love that though because you know, with, with my team and everybody around me, they're not yes men, and everybody around me, which I, I gratefully, I'm grateful for them. They appreciate me, and you know, they uh, they understand the seriousness that we put into the craft, right. the comedy. Right. So they make sure to tell me the truth. Because when I get on stage, I'm like, you told me to say that. <laughs> But now, uh, you know, my team. Gotcha. Now, besides comedy, what else are you interested in? Uh, acting. So I definitely want to do more so commercial acting. Nice. Uh, comedic acting, but I think that's definitely one of those uh, roles I'm going to be taking very soon. Okay. Dates of any type of upcoming projects you got coming up? Oh, January 19th, man. The Can't Cancel Cortez Comedy Show is going down. We got a whole bunch of musical acts. We got the hottest comedians of all Atlanta coming out. We're going on tour. We got a strong, solid team and an amazing show. So 2022 is going down. The Can't Cancel Cortez Comedy Concert. It is a concert, you guys. It is a concert. But it's at the Atlanta Comedy Theater, man. The ticket link is in my bio. We also selling tickets at the door. So come get you a great laugh. Have a lot of fun. Get you a lot of drinks some great food. Yeah, uh, I got a movie coming out very soon. What? Yeah, I can't tell you about it because it's an NDA that I signed. Got you, got you. So did you, can I ask if you wrote it or are you just in it? Oh, no, I'm just in it. Okay. You want to do some writing as well too, script writing? I definitely uh, am working on a cartoon, a uh, 26 page uh, cartoon script that's completed. It's written. I'm just looking for an animator. Nice, nice. Any advice you would give anyone trying to come up in the business? Uh, it takes 10 seconds to say I quit and 10 years to get where you want to be at. So don't quit on yourself. You know, believe in yourself, have faith, keep going. It's going to be some ups and some downs, but as long as you have something to progress and keep track of, keep going. That's deep, that's deep. Now, how can people find you on your social media? Hey, y'all make sure y'all follow the kid on Instagram at Stand Up Cortez and add me on Twitter at Sit Down Cortez. <laughs> All right, sir. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate your time. I appreciate you, man. Y'all make sure y'all show love and support. Follow Real Talk. Man, they, they are beautiful people. The photo shoots, the media, all, everybody. This entire production has been amazing. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to come and be on y'all platform. Thank y'all. Thank you. Peace.